What's happening, guys? So I'm coming through with another video, and we're gonna get straight into this. And I want to talk to you guys about what narcissists do. They all do different things, but for the most part, anyways, from my own knowledge and experience, this is what I've noticed that they do. Because, like I said, I catch on to patterns. I catch on to certain things that people do, and you can only fool a man so many times. You can only do things so many times before you are caught red-handed. And with narcissists, I noticed that they bring you into a false sense of a reality with their shit-ass personality that they have. And they just expect you to bend over backwards for them and to do anything for them in the most messed up way possible because it's like they're not talking to you like a person that matters they talk to you as a person that they can use but you don't see it that way <clears throat> until you start to catch on to what they're doing and they honestly make you feel miserable they make you feel so bad they don't bring good energy into your life they do the opposite they're just using you for their own selfish and self-centered gains and i hate being around people like this they don't even acknowledge you like there's so many toxic people in today's society it makes me sick it's hard to be around certain people and it's like <sighs> narcissists just hate you also whenever they cannot use you the way they want to use you to their advantage to make their life better by using you but like like i said let's say if it's you and a narc hanging out right it's just you and it's them they're going to use you to keep them company when they don't care how you feel, they don't care about anything like this. They don't care, like let's say they get you over to your house, you get them over to your house. Let's say you're over at their house, they won't even offer you anything. They won't offer you a glass of water. They're not gonna try to make you feel comfortable. They're not gonna think about you and your well-being. They could care less. The only thing they're thinking about is them themselves because they don't know how to function like a proper human being. They're just so ungrateful. They're so disturbed. They're always like angry for whatever reason. And I even noticed something too with guys is I noticed personality changes with a lot of guys that got screwed over by a girl or got let on by a girl. And I can see it in them so easily because this happened to me in the past, like a long ass time ago, right? And they literally take it out on other people, which is something I've never done because that's how they feel. They're going to act as how they feel. That's how they're going to act. I never did this to people because I'm not a projection type of person. If somebody makes me feel bad, I'm not going to go to the next person and make them feel bad. But that's what a lot of people do. And I can't stand being around these individuals because it's like, you are weak as shit, buddy. You can't even own up to what you're going through and you're going to project your own pain and your own misery onto somebody else. And honestly, I don't think they were cut from the right cloth to begin with. They were probably already at least half a miserable person already, half a narcissist already, and just that puts the icing on top for them is to get screwed over by somebody else. Now they're treating their friends like shit, now they're treating uh, maybe their next partner like shit or something like this, maybe even their parents. But they just take it out on people that is around them. That's something I've never done. And I've isolated myself. I, I kept my I kept myself away from people. Um, I could have been around nice people, and I actually was. 
here and there, but I was never around people that just like make you mad anyways, and those aren't the right people anyways, so honestly, I didn't want to be involved with those people anyways. Going through the toughest times of my life, guys, opened my eyes the most to everything. That's what allowed me to become woke to everything. And um, <clears throat> I couldn't be happier because of that. I see so clearly. I see, I see things so differently because I never knew the truth of certain things. And I even see 18, 19, 20 year old guys today and their mindset is off. Their mindset is off towards women, towards everything, towards life. They think very, very, very superficially. They think very, 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 very shallow. And they're so offended by the, the smallest things, just fragile people in general with no confidence. They have no game in real life. These are the same people that use manipulation against everybody to get what they want. And this is exactly what narcissists do. You cannot let them get in your head. If they get in your head, you're screwed. If you let them bring you into the false sense of reality, your life is going to go to shit very, 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 very fast. And you're going to be very sorry that you let this happen. That's why this knowledge is so important. That's why these understandings is so important. That's why isolation is so important. you got to weave out all these people <clears throat> and let them live the shit life that they're going to live. That stressful ass life, how they're going to live with all this pain and misery. Because they don't know how to be a real human being of value. They don't know how to do it. And when it comes to me, I don't want to be surrounded by any of these people. I'd rather be surrounded by myself. Just myself. Let alone these fucking people. I want the real people in my life. And if you stay patient, there's other real people in this world that is also doing the same things you're doing. And you're increasing your chances of coming together with these people. That's how it happens. And nothing happens overnight. You and other people have to all do this exact same thing. And I'm pretty sure people are getting the knowledge today and people are doing this, which is great. Because it's what you got to do. This is what I'm doing. And I got a few people today, but I, it, it's still, I don't think anybody's on my level. Like, very, 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 very few where I come from is even close to my level. When it comes to spiritual awareness, when it comes to being a good person in general to whenever people are coming around you because I'm the type of person that the last thing I want to do is make people feel bad make people feel unwelcomed unwanted things like this and this is what narcissists do they put you on a fucking pedestal and you have to be this certain way you have to do these certain things for them in this way and if you don't you're hated if you don't you're envied this is pathetic. Whenever you are with somebody, <coughs> it should be a fair game all the way around the board. Nobody should be taking advantage of nobody. It should be a fair game, a fair ball field. You guys are doing your thing. You have your own shit. This person has their own shit. You're both equally as polite. You're both equally as aware. You both have knowledge. It has to be things like this. There's people go on saying, you might tell them something, like the truth, and they, they might be like, yeah, like I get it, yeah, that's true. But they still don't fully get it because their actions are not showing it. Because if they truly, truly got it, their actions would show. But yet they're still making so immature, rookie mistakes and accidents that shouldn't be happening at their age. And... Um, it just goes to show that they're, they they never got hit hard enough yet. It just goes to show that they really don't know what the hell's going on in this world. And I don't believe they're ever going to change. I believe these people are honestly going to get worse because they don't want to change. If you want to change, you're going to change. I wanted to change at the age of like 18, 19. 
there's people still surpassing these ages and they're not changing. They have no urgency to change. They might say they do, but their actions don't show it. And that's everything. There's a lot of people that say they're going to change. There's a lot of people that say they're going to do things. But they never do because they don't understand it quite enough that they actually have to change. So they're not going to. Because they don't think they have to. Their life doesn't depend on changing. And if your life does not depend on something, there's a very high chance it's not going to happen. If you need it like you need oxygen, if you need to change like you need air to breathe, then you're going to change. Trust me. You're going to change in this case. You want it that bad, it's going to happen. If you just kind of want it, it's not going to happen. Unless you get very, very lucky. Which is, you know, I, I don't even really believe in luck. I believe in hard work, doing the right things, being at the right place at the right time by doing the hard work and doing the hard things that you have to do. And that is what people call luck. But... That's what it is. If you want to live a good life, you can't you can't let society get in your head either because this is what even caused narcissists to be narcissists. There's good people that have good hearts and you can even see it yourself. You see potential in these people, but they're just doing the wrong things because they're caught up in society. They're caught up into thinking they have to act this way. They have to be a certain way to please other people. So pe these people are going to like them but they want the wrong people to like them in the first place. You know what I mean? Like, and I wish I would have knew this even sooner because I was doing things whenever I was younger to make people that I don't even want in my life as of right now in my life. You know what I mean? You do not want those people in your life and you're doing everything in your power to make these people like you and it could work here and there. But at the end of the day, you don't even want those motherfuckers in your life. You want good people in your life, and you're going to realize this as you grow and mature as a person. And quality over quantity. You don't want a hundred hawks flying around your fucking house. You know what I mean? When you see one of those eagles flying up in the air, that's special. It's like you. You're an eagle. You're apart from the crowd of hawks that are flying around in massive packs. You are the eagle. You are the golden ticket. You are the prize. And it all has to do with your mindset and the way you see things and see the world. And how you treat other people. Narcissists will never understand this because they're so focused on... They're so focused on like superficial shit. Which, like I said before in videos, there's nothing wrong with wanting to look good. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself, dressing well, dressing nice, because I do these things, but I'm not superficial. It doesn't make you superficial just because you do these things. It's your mindset towards how you are doing things. Which makes you superficial because they depend on these things to get them results. They depend on these things as manipulation they want to use these things as manipulation because their mindset is shit they can't attract what they want by being a good genuine person they have to do these things they have to get in your head it's what they have to do <sighs> and without doing these things they even know them damn selves. They cannot get what they want. Which is why they do these things. They're so predictable, it's not even funny. I go around these people and I'm literally laughing today, right now. They're so mad and they're so upset whenever I'm around them because I'm on such a higher frequency. And they're on such a low frequency. That they can't even approach me and come up and start saying hey and smile on my face because I'm just hovering over top of them like nope not even close not even close that's not going to do nothing for me you can say hi hello all you want and smile on my face um you're going to show me who you really are because that's not enough you're not going to manipulate me by giving me your eyes saying hi with a big smile you might give me a hug or some shit like this 
it's not going to get me. And I'm not going to look at you and, and give you that same energy back. Because I already know what you're doing. And if it was genuine, of course I'd do it. I go up to people first sometimes and give real love. And make people feel valued and important. And show them the real and the right way. Not doing things for show. Not doing things as a thing of manipulation. It's just genuine and it's natural. The way I greet people. The way narcissists greet people. Everything, every single goddamn thing they do is manipulation. Every single thing. And once you catch on to it, it's going to drive you nuts. You're not going to smile at these people back. If they give you a hug, you're not even going to hug them back. This is what happened with me. And now it's to the point where I'm so ahead that it's like they just have this bad energy whenever I come around now because they know they ain't got nothing on me. They know they are light years below me. They know this. And they can't manipulate me with anything anymore. I don't care how good you look. You can't manipulate me. We're going to have a talk. I want to see where your head's at. Or if your head's in the goddamn clouds. Like a narc bitch that you are. So, <clears throat> and I don't even trust people that don't live by truth because they're constantly making mistakes, which can constantly lower their vibration, which can constantly cause them to have troubles with other people like other narcs. That's going to bring them down, bring their vibration down even more, make them into a bad person, make them into a person... Um, that wants to get back at other people, that's going to start to treat other people bad now, and it's just a negative effect that spreads like wildfire. And this is how the game works. That's why you have to cut everything the fuck out what is going on in my life right now. I need to cut this bullshit and get down and just breathe. Breathe your own air. Get away from everybody else's mind. You are you. You are you. So get right. And then continue your day. If something rubs you the wrong way, cut that negative energy off. Cut that off. Start to breathe again. And come back to yourself. You always come back to yourself. Always. But a lot of people are not doing this. A lot of people are making these mistakes. I know good hearted people that have made these mistakes and they're no longer a good hearted person. Are they ever going to come out of it? I don't know. You can't really say for sure because some people, it could take them 10 goddamn years. They might get worse over 10 years and get even worse in the future. You just don't know. I'm not, I'm not one to count somebody out. And let's say, let's say if something happened to one of my friends, right? And I'm going to use this as an example. We could cut up, we, we could um, be cut off from communication and everything for like five fucking years or more or a little bit less, let's say. And they could be, like, not the best person in the world, but if they if they come through and they get their shit together, I'm not going to hold a grudge with this person. We can easily be friends again. And I, I'm a very understanding person like this. You could rub me the wrong way. You could say something dirty to me and come back to your real self and apologize. It would be clear as day. It would be clear as day. But I, I would know, too, if that apology is real or fake. So... You can't just say sorry or some shit like this. It, it has to be real. And it's, it's, it's very easy to tell. So, But anyways, guys, I'm going to cut this video short. And I got another one to do. I had a lot of work to do on the car yesterday. And had to run around and take them to a bunch of places doing a whole bunch of things. So I missed out on some videos yesterday. So I'm getting to them now. And I'll be back right around the corner right here with another video. So I'll be back. <clears throat>